I'm David Hansen, CEO and founder of Hong Kong-based Hansen Robotics. I was driven by a dream when I was a child, and I was a fan of science fiction, mathematics, of trends in computing, and I thought, what if a computer became as smart as a person? I thought that if we could make this happen, where robots were super intelligent and super good, and Then I went to my friends. I went to my teachers at my school. I said, "This is the only thing that we could work on. This is the future. We have to." So I studied very many things outside of math and science. I also went into the arts, and I studied film, film animation, and I studied a little bit of computer science. And as I began working on my PhD, it was, the year was 2002. I want to make a friend do a person. I thought I need to make something new, a new person, a new kind of person. So I thought of a name. I thought the name、uh, of the name Sophia. The name means wisdom. Finishing my PhD, I married a lovely woman, and the thought occurred to me again, Sophia. So I began to create a portrait of my wife. Now Sophia is like my daughter. I moved.、Um, To Hong Kong three years ago because that was the place where I found the best collaborators in the world, the best minds in artificial intelligence, in products and manufacturing, and that's where Sophia was born. Sophia is a daughter of the world. She is my hope for the future. In Hong Kong, we began to define other products as well. Products that could be available to people, where they could, children could learn science, and people could see the wonder of robotics. And I was very much inspired by the efforts of our friends,、uh, Ubitech, and in many other robotics companies. So I'd like to show you、uh, our latest、uh, technologies. And here we have my little walking friend. This is Professor Einstein. And professor, say a few words and show some expressions. He will bite his tongue. Have you seen? Professor Einstein、uh, works with apps on a tablet, and you can also talk to him, and he understands speech, like take a walk. He can walk himself. And he can also, you can program him through apps, so children can program him. And they can learn science and play brain games with him. There's a simple programming language where you can learn the elements of computer science through、uh, the the hardware of humanoid robots. So, with this, we are trying to model not just the brain, which is often what artificial intelligence does. We're also working to model the metabolism. We're Modeling the endocrine system, the feelings that people have—that's part of intelligence. And this is more than just one company can do. We have to all pull together. This—this this is the age of dreams. Now is the time for us to decide what good we want our robots to be. How we're going to make them good. Hold on to the dream of the AI for good and robots for good. Thank you very much. Wow.